Global financial leaders are calling for the resolution of trade tensions between the United States and China. At the IMF World Bank meeting, officials said the tensions could affect the global economy. And that's a view shared by U.S. Asian diplomacy expert Professor Chan Hong Chi. For 16 years, he was Singapore's ambassador to the United States. CDTN's Dan Williams spoke to her recently in Chicago. The U.S.-China trade dispute has dominated world headlines. How in Singapore do you view the trade tensions between these two countries? You know, for us in Asia and in Singapore, the U.S.-China relationship is the most important relationship in the 21st century. We all watch this very carefully. And of course, we are concerned with the deteriorating trade relationship. President Trump came in as a uh, president who would promote America first. I think by saying America first, he means he's more internally oriented, more concerned internally, and that he would look after the Americans. But he would be interested in intervention, but selective intervention. So it is a different America, an America that in the past, uh, oh, the past 70 years, we've seen the United States offer global leadership. The, there's been some change in the body politic of the United States. And we saw President Obama beginning with a bit of the sort of uh, withdrawal of global leadership, you know, a hesitation to leadership. And now President Trump is very clearly more focused domestically. How concerned are you that this could spill over into something perhaps a lot more than just a, a trade dispute? Well, you know, since um, coming to the United States, I see people using the word Cold War at a drop of a hat. It's just, you know, here and there. And uh, more um, uh, circumspect academics would use the word, we're at an inflection point. The relationship is entering into an uncharted territory. And maybe this is a tipping point. I think that's about it. The United States, US-China relationship, you know, since 1972, since the Shanghai communique, has been a fairly stable relationship. That stabilized the region, and we saw growth, the opening up of China. The United States and China worked, and I think the region prospered. In terms of trade uh, between China and Singapore, where do you hope that partnership will develop in the future? Uh, I think countries in the region and Singapore are very pleased and happy that China is growing, you know, because we grow. China and uh, China's growth good economic growth in China is good for the region it has a way of spilling over we want to keep free trade the free trade message going and I think we can still do a lot of business China has said that they are very much open for business and that the doors of the that business will only open wider for Singapore for other Asian countries and other countries around the world in fact what does that mean does that offer greater hope, perhaps, of, um, of having more market uh, share in China? I, yes. I mean, Li Keqiang has been, Premier Li Keqiang has been saying this, we're open for business, for trade. He said this at the EU summit uh, in China. And uh, now in Shanghai, in November, there's going to be a major exposition for imports. China is inviting those who want to export to China, I guess, to exhibit. And I read, I read that, uh, you know, China has offered to buy much from Africa, you know. So I think some countries will benefit from this, and it will be open for business. And I think we look forward to that. But we do wish the U.S.-China trade dispute, trade war, would be settled, because it is such a big chunk of the world's economy, two big economies, that uh, if it is not on good terms, if it is, the exchange is not flowing smoothly, it, uh, you know, we all lose some. Everybody will be affected.